Hello, beautiful beings. I am Summer with Bent Brushes. Thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today, I have another double uh, paint with me video. We are going to be painting this and this. So two mommy and me paintings, and we'll just go through them quickly like I did the last video with these two. If you haven't checked those out, you can do so after this video. Um, if you are painting along with me from home, just drop a comment below and let me know. I would love to know. I would love to hear from you. Uh, so without further ado, let's start painting. I'm gonna grab a light blue. If you don't have a light blue at home, you can just take a darker blue and add some white to it. Okay, let's get into this baby blue for the background. That's even darker than the blue that I originally had on um, my original canvas, my painting, but that's okay. I really like it. I like when um, I recreate a painting and it's a little bit different. When doing a face, I like to think of the direction that the skin is going in. So her cheeks, I, I paint in a round, a round motion underneath her eyes. Her chin, I follow the curve of the lips and the, and the chin, you know, so you want to, you want to move in the direction of the skin. And the spaces where the cucumbers are, are going to be, I'm going to leave that so that that green can be as vibrant as possible. But I'm going to do her arms and her neck before I move on. eyebrow will be right above that cucumber. So I'm going to go brush some eyebrows on ever so lightly. Just like you're drawing your own eyebrows on. And it's not that serious because we're not going to see them uh, they're going to be hidden under the mask anyway so she doesn't have to have a perfect eyebrow situation we're going to do the babies i'm just going to flip her around so her eyebrows would be thinner maybe less arched <laughs> For the neck, um, I just want to get it a, a, just a tad darker than her face. So I want to add a dot of black. And I'm going to apply that right to the neck.
here I'm gonna make a gray just to do the outline of her towel. And this is just to do the outline and then I'll move on to fill it in with white. take my burnt sienna and mix it with a little black to get it a little darker and just outline her skin so that I don't see the pencil um, just like a little a little shadow okay for the top of her lip, I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to outline with that dark brown that we just made. And you can go ahead and make her lips switch whatever color you want, if you want to add lipstick, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But the shape of her lip is also up to you, but I would like to, at the corners, come up in the middle, make a little hump down, up a little bit, and then meet the other corner. Okay, I'm gonna fill that in with the burnt sienna.
still look more black on me. in her hair. some of the gray um, on her towel so I'm just going to add it cover her forehead and the brown is completely dry so I'm going to cover her forehead and almost touch the edge of her face but not quite I still want that brown to show
can do the same on this side. And it can be a little streaky because when we put our face masks on, everything is not perfectly covered. I think I'm going to switch over to my larger brush. And oh, let me outline. So the mask is going to cover her nose and go under her eyes but not too close, right? And we're definitely gonna cover her eyebrows, but we're gonna leave them very streaky, you see? So you can still see her brows under the mask. I like the look of that. So it's like you can tell hair is under there. And then we're going to plaster on her forehead. And it's okay if it's like kind of transparent because you still can see her skin underneath, which I like. And we're going to get under her lips. for her nose. I'm gonna take your smaller brush and leave the deep green that you have, the original green, and you're gonna like crease around her nose. So where like the edge of her nose would be with the green, with that darker green, just so you don't lose the shape of her nose. And on the bottom of her nose, I'm gonna take that dark brown, our black and brown mixture, and just go over the shape of her nose. So we don't lose her nostrils and everything. Right. Get back into that. Um, mint green and kind of thin out that darker line and then go ahead applying her mask around her her mouth I kind of lost <laughs> that darker green and I'm going to I'm gonna bring it down over almost her entire nose, but I'm gonna leave the tip of that nose so we don't lose it completely. And keep the roundness so you can see the shape of it. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of gold and just give it a little highlight right on that line.
think I may just add a little bit of green to the white. That's how light I want it. And I'm going to fill it even lighter. I'm going to fill the cucumber in. In a circular motion. This is going to tie it all together. Um, my the color of green that I use for the mask, and I'm just going to speckle some seeds in the middle. outside of the cucumber I absolutely love the way it came out and that is done. So I will sign it and let it dry. I love it. Next, we will move on to these two.